Have you ever admired breathtaking AI images and wondered why your own creations don't quite measure up? If you've sensed a gap in your AI-generated art, you're in the perfect spot. Today, I'll guide you in unlocking the secret to exceptional AI art. The AI Prompt Formula This formula suits all AI image generators like Midjourney or Leonardo AI. The demos in this video focus on stable diffusion, but you can apply the same principles with other tools. In my experience, a prompt should incorporate specific elements to produce a high-quality image. These include a subject, an artistic medium and style, the aesthetics of the image, and image quality. These elements collectively result in the following prompt formula. Artistic medium, adjective, subject, action or accessory, location, artistic style, aesthetics and image quality. In this formula, all the elements enclosed in angle brackets are optional. This means you can choose whether or not to include them in your prompt. The only mandatory element is the subject, so you must include it to describe the main focus of your image. The arrangement of elements is flexible, enabling you to position adjectives, actions, location, aesthetics and image quality either before or after the subject. This lets you tailor your prompt to align with the context or your personal style. To gain a deeper understanding of each of these elements, we will gradually construct our prompt formula step by step. The first thing you need for your prompt is a subject. The subject is what you want to see in the generated image. Ask yourself, do I want an image of a person, an animal or perhaps a landscape? Let's go with cat. The generated image is OK, but the more specific details you provide, the better Stable Diffusion understands your preferences. So I'll add more information to my prompt. A cute black cat. That's better. But I think we can do better. I'll give it even more details. A cute black cat with blue eyes wearing a red collar. As you can see, it produced a black cat with blue eyes, but I was aiming for a red collar. However, Stable Diffusion generated an image of a black cat with blue eyes, a blue collar and a blue background, which isn't what I had in mind. Let's introduce one more detail. I'd like my cat to be lying on a table. Stable Diffusion has generated an image of a black cat lying on a table with blue eyes, but it's missing the red collar I wanted. There's a hint of a red tongue peeking out, but it's still not precisely what I requested. For now, let's leave it at that and let's break down our prompt. Cat is the subject, cute, black and with blue eyes describes the cat's appearance and demeanor, indicating that it's adorable and has black fur. Wearing a red collar provides an action or accessory for the cat. Lying on a table describes the cat's location. In formula terms, it looks like this. Adjective, subject, action or accessory and location. In this formula, all the elements enclosed in angle brackets are optional. This means you can choose whether or not to include them in your prompt. The only mandatory element is the subject, so you must include it to describe the main focus of your image. The subject can encompass a wide range of things, such as people, animals, objects, locations, plants, vehicles, food, weather conditions, natural occurrences and abstract ideas. Let's look at another example. A cheerful young woman with long curly hair holding a bouquet of colorful flowers in a garden. The subject is woman. The adjectives are cheerful, young and with long curly hair. The action or accessory is holding a bouquet of colorful flowers. 
The location is in a garden. Artistic medium refers to the materials and techniques an artist uses to create their work, like painting, photograph, or drawing. It's essentially the chosen form through which artistic expression takes shape. Ask yourself, do you want a photo, an oil painting, a graffiti, a cartoon, an illustration, or a 3D rendering? Our formula can now be extended to artistic medium, adjective, subject, action or accessory and location. Returning to the image of a young woman in a garden. If I add the words oil painting to my prompt, stable diffusion will generate an image that resembles an oil painting. So adding the artistic medium in the prompt helped stable diffusion understand and generate the image I had in mind. In art, style is all about how an artist blends techniques, processes and choices uniquely. It's the special way an image is represented. These styles are usually linked to certain periods, movements or individual artists. Each artistic style has its own standout features, making it different from the rest and adding to the diverse and rich tapestry of the art world. You can use the artistic style to shape the images generated by AI according to your preferences. Let's add artistic style to the end of our formula. For instance, this is the image stable diffusion generated when prompted with oil painting of a cheerful young woman with long curly hair holding a bouquet of colorful flowers in a garden in the style of classicism. By specifying in the style of classicism, Stable Diffusion produced an image resembling classicist paintings. There are various styles to choose from, like abstract art, impressionism, surrealism, etc. Each artistic style has several subgenres. This offers numerous possibilities for image generation. Even for the artistic medium photography, there are distinctive styles. For example, here's a photo generated with the prompt Photo of a construction site, workers tilt shift effect. Tilt shift is a photography technique that makes real scenes resemble miniature models. Another one generated with the prompt Photo of a busy city street with cars passing by, long exposure. Long exposure captures motion blur in moving subjects or creates a smooth, flowing effect. Considering the significant variations within artistic styles, I've found that naming the artist is usually the wiser option. Instead of using abstract art in your prompt, opt for an artist's name like in the style of Kandinsky. The AI will then create an image mimicking the named artist's style. The artist's names don't have to exclusively be painters. They could include photographers like Ansel Adams or Helmut Newton, film directors such as Wes Anderson or Tim Burton, or even studios like Studio Ghibli, Disney or Pixar. For instance, here's Donald Duck walking down the street as a character in a Wes Anderson movie you'll notice the background resembling the unique sets Wes Anderson often uses in his films. Aesthetics encompass the attractiveness and style of artwork, taking into account aspects such as perspective, lighting, contrast and mood. It involves skillfully combining these elements to evoke emotions, convey messages and offer a visually pleasing experience for the viewer. This is our revised formula. Let's break down some of the aesthetic elements that can impact image generation, starting with perspective. Perspective relates to the vantage point or viewpoint from which an image is observed or created. Recall the last image we examined. Photo of a busy city street with cars passing by long exposure. 
This is what I received when I included bird's eye view in the prompt. It displays a city from above. Here's another image generated with the prompt monkeys in the jungle fish eye perspective. It simulates a photo taken with a fish eye lens. The second element is lighting. Lighting in images, whether in photography or paintings, refers to the deliberate use and manipulation of light to enhance visual impact. It shapes the mood, highlights details, and influences the overall atmosphere, contributing to the effectiveness and emotional resonance of the image. This is a photo of an old man soft lighting, where you can see a gentle light from the right illuminating the old man's face. Or a photo of a cute cat on an empty floor illuminated by a spotlight. In this image, the AI didn't quite get it right as there's a bright spot on the cat's collar area. Nevertheless, it did capture the spotlight effect. Another important element that influences the image's aesthetics is contrast. Contrast in images is the degree of difference between elements, such as light and dark, colors or textures. It adds visual interest, emphasizes focal points and creates a dynamic composition. For example, here's a high contrast image of a daisy. I only used the words high contrast in the prompt. Stable diffusion automatically generated a black and white image of a daisy emphasizing the colors in high contrast. The final aesthetic element is mood. You can describe an image's mood by capturing the emotional vibe it gives off, like saying, a bar filled with people, neon light, gloomy atmosphere, and the image matches that. Or, a cute pink unicorn standing in a field of roses, soft lighting, whimsical Studio Ghibli, capturing the whimsical mood which shows in the resulting image. Image quality pertains to the level of detail in a picture. Like many AI image generation tools, including stable diffusion, there are distinct parameters that impact quality. Specifically, you can determine the resolution and size of an image by adjusting them. Yet, based on my experience, there are specific magic words associated with image quality that can enhance what the AI produces. While these won't affect image size or resolution, they will enhance the visual appeal. Our completed prompt formula now looks as follows. And remember, in this formula you can skip any part except the subject. Check this out. I start with a basic prompt like a landscape, and the AI creates a landscape resembling an oil painting with a bit of frame showing. Now, when I toss in 4K, 8K, UHD, highly detailed, the image transforms, the colors pop, and the sharpness is top-notch, making it super realistic. Now, switching to a portrait of Morgan Freeman with studio lighting, UHD, highly detailed HDR, the stable diffusion gives me an impressive, detailed picture of him. Those quality-boosting terms work like magic. And that's our formula in action. Remember, mix and match, try out styles that don't naturally go together. Have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.